Hey Moon Magic Super Souls, welcome back to the channel, welcome to anyone new. Today we are asking your spirit team for an immediate message, something you really do need to know about right here and right now and we're also going to follow through and draw some more cards and ask your spirit team really is there anything you need to know about for the coming week, for the next seven days. Now I am actually seeing this for pile one. We're going to draw three cards together. I am seeing the card at the base actually and also this one here for pile three. So we're drawing three cards together. We're going to also draw a rune and a charm as well and then I have various cards to draw from today as always. So pile one, you have the card of the world Okay, so this is your card, pile one. Pile two, you have the tower. And this is your card. And pile three, you have the card of the lovers. So this is the card for pile three. Okay, let me put those there. And I'm going to draw a rune and a charm simultaneously. Okay. So pile one, you have Fehu. This is actually the rune, in fact, you have Fehu, which is the rune of possessions, nourishment, sometimes known as. And what you also have here is a little deer beautiful little deer. It looks like a very young deer. See if I can put those together so you can see them clearly. Okay. So, oops, Fehu the rune of, which is very electric today, Fehu the rune of possessions and nourishment. I'm going to place that deer right there. That just feels really right. Okay. Pile two. With the card of the tower, we have ooh, this one. We have the rune of Othilla. This is the rune of inheritance. And we also have the beautiful flamingo. Okay, so I'm going to place that there. And where should we put the flamingo? Bang in the middle again, I think. And now pile three. Mm. Okay, we have Hagalas, the rune of disruption, and then we also have a, a little elephant. Can you see this? Just here. Okay, so Hagalas, the rune of disruption, or sometimes known as the Great Awakener. I always think it's got the same energy as Uranus, and I'm going to put that little elephant right in the middle. Okay, beautiful souls, I'm going to leave you to just follow your intuition, trust whatever you are feeling, whether it's the runes, the charms, the cards, a combination of each. And if you're drawn to more than one, it may well be worth listening to more than one because this is like a weekly reading that I post every Sunday. Sometimes there is more than one message coming through for you for the coming week because we really are looking at all aspects of your world messages from spirit right here right now along with the heads up for the coming seven days beautiful souls i'll leave the video running just a few moments longer and i will put the timestamps into the description box and into the comments as well for phone users because i know that's a little bit easier to access see you in the readings in just a moment Welcome pile one, welcome to your reading. So what does your spirit team want you to know about right here and right now? And most importantly as well, I guess, how is your week going to pan out? This is very interesting because this is a rune of unexpected surprises, gains, rewards. With this beautiful little Bambi, 
it really does feel like a Bambi deer. I, I'm getting the impression that I don't know. I think something is coming to you in, I kind of feel with this card like you're going to get a pat on the back or some sort of, you know, like a really amazing appraisal. And and I almost feel with the pinkness here, it's almost as though you're a little bit embarrassed or a little bit shy at the validation. So yeah, a little bit shy at the the acknowledgement. I'm not quite sure what that's about, but it's got a very distinct feel to it. Let's draw some more cards. Let's draw some little rune cards as well. What else are we shown in the runes? So your first rune as well, we have Othilla, the rune of separation. And how interesting, because the world is about something coming to a completion. And then we have Manas. Okay, this is the rune of the self. Hmm. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to lay your cards out yet. We've got some astrology cards too, karmic astrology cards. Let's see what we're shown here. I'm seeing this card and this. So we've got two houses cards coming through for you. I actually want to draw an Archangel Michael card as well. And we'll draw some tea leaves too. You've got two. Okay. How interesting. So we've got, you created this situation and you have the power to change it. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay. So these are coming through here. I think we can fit these in just here. You've then got Othilla and you've got Manas. This is the rune of the self, but also the rune of separation. So with the world, something is coming to a completion. Hmm. We then have personal power, the eighth house, a major change. And then we have the ninth house. How interesting, spiritual values, long range thinking or travel. Hmm. Do it in a big way. It also says the philosophies and laws involved, the mysteries of life, a major change, personal power, getting and using power. Mm. You and your loved ones are safe. You created this situation. You have the power to change it. This is very interesting. I'm going to draw some tea leaves as well for you. And then we will draw your tarot cards as well. So I am just seeing. Do you know, I think this is literally those are the ones. Okay. We have stalk, news of a birth or a business opportunity. We have tent, temporary situation. We have money path, a path with money is waiting for you to find it. We have I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. We have star, guaranteed success. And then we have you will be taken care of in difficult times as staff. Okay. Right, what I'm seeing is uh, your first message most definitely is that something that's happening around you is actually going to change. It's a really, really clear message. It's going to come to its completion. And I said this sort of like embarrassment, like almost being seen, recognized. I'm not sure if this is actually you that's embarrassed. Like with the meerkats, what do they, you know, if you've ever seen a meerkat in, in real life, they kind of bob around and suddenly they all stop up and they're seen with this beautiful full moon here. I think someone is seen for who they are. And I, th this is very interesting. This is very detailed. So I'm just going to give you the message as best I can in a way that enables you to then understand it in the context of your personal circumstances. But basically, what I'm really seeing in your reading is, I think you got involved in something, or you are involved in something where it, it kind of didn't quite work out, or, or that somebody either behaved badly, or 
basically something something's happened but it is temporary okay it's not an ongoing situation and the very first message is that something is going to come to light and be seen I, I think it's left you worrying basically so there's a circumstance around you you're worried about it and I think you you know that something isn't running smoothly but you haven't really been quite sure what to kind of do to move it forwards I think you know it's temporary but you also genuinely haven't been sure what to do to actually move it forwards and you may well have tuned into the odd reading here on YouTube mine or other people's and you may actually have received a message that sort of said you don't really have to do anything about this it's going to get sorted out and and that may have helped you to step away from it a little bit or to detach from it a bit but I think it's probably still been playing on your mind now what I'm seeing in your reading is that that it's basically is now about to come to a close and I, I think in many ways you are uh, you are aware that your involvement in it is sort of choice because you did choose to be connected to that situation or involved in it the problem was that you didn't then really know sort of quite what you were getting into that that was really the problem you didn't really see exactly how it was now you are seeing it clearly and and maybe you are feeling a little bit embarrassed that you made a commitment to something that wasn't really ideal or perhaps you were a little bit naive about it um, not as worldly wise as you should have been but if you think about that as being a learning curve and now you are far more worldly wise and now you will really trust your intuition now your primary message is that you are being taken care of this whole situation is being taken care of you personally are being taken care of and even though I think you're feeling quite vulnerable a bit like a little fawn you know on those wibbly wobbly legs you are safe you're being taken care of this is an assurance here you and your loved ones are safe uh, you will be taken care of in difficult times even if you have been sort of feel a bit like you've been hooked into something or even your buttons have been pressed honestly beautiful souls it's being taken care of so the very first most important message from spirit you are being taken care of this situation is coming to a completion you don't have to worry about it you are going to be able to move on and move away with a good deal of learning under your belt you'll never be drawn into anything like this again because you really are a lot more wise and that's the primary message okay what I am seeing here is that there's a almost like a kind of a silver lining or a bonus in your reading and the bonus is that I, I, you step into a, a greater sense of power you can do something you can move something forwards in a bigger better way getting and using power guaranteed success a pathway with money really bizarrely news of a birth or business opportunity really really bizarrely there's like a silver lining this situation which was actually temporary even though it, it really felt pretty rubbish the honest truth is it's created an in-between stepping stone to something that actually will lead you to a position of greater health wealth power empowerment you, and you probably had to go from one thing to get to the other it's one of those seriously big silver linings that's out there waiting for you now I'm going to draw from one of the tarot packs I think we'll use this dinky little pack which I am rather loving I'm really quite into my little cards at the moment yes look at this we have the wheel of fortune this wheel couldn't have turned without that this really is one of those cause and effects even though honestly I genuinely genuinely recognize that it has felt rubbish the situation truly truly was temporary and you would not have moved forwards you wouldn't have moved some of some something forwards without the sort of like the pressure in a strange way but you are really truly there's a benefit because of your own personal learning and there's also a significant it's like a twist of fate 
You know, when you look back at something and you think, you know, like, like in six months time, you'll look back and you'll think, wow, if that hadn't happened, I wouldn't be here now. And it might not even be six months that you have to wait to be in that position. The wheel of fortune here. This had to happen. This really, really did. So there's a significant silver lining here. Let's look at these cards are very lively. I think there will be more to come. I'm trying to make sure we can move them all along so we have enough space because I just feel like, excuse me while I shuffle everything along, but I do feel like I want to get two cards in a row up here. Yeah, you have the devil, Wheel of Fortune and the devil. Mm. Yeah. Then you have the Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups. And the Queen of Swords. My goodness me, can we get all these cards in? Let me move the camera out for one moment. Let me press the pause button and just make an adjustment. There we go, a little bit of adjustment and I am seeing the card on the base as well. We have the King of Cups too. This is absolutely fascinating. So two areas are coming through here that I think are really, really important. This whole scenario has actually enabled you to cut cords with something that ultimately you probably would have continued almost either tolerating or being slightly bound by. Now, what those cords are cutting will be completely unique to you. For some of you, it could literally be almost like a, an addiction. Maybe you were tangled in some sort of circumstance that meant that you were involved in repetitive thinking or repetitive behaviors. But being, you've been tangled in something and ultimately the whole scenario that's happened has given you kind of like a gigantic sort of shove forwards to have to move. Whether you've moved house, you've moved home or you've moved whatever it is and you've looked at yourself, you've seriously looked at yourself through this situation. But the really interesting thing is, and there's an outcome to this, and the outcome to this is you going along a pathway of something that is really, really, really going to bring you as a significant, I venture to say, um, sort of a significant, well, a significant new life is what I just want to say with the King of Cups. I feel like he's toasting you. Here's the Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups, holding up this cup and toasting you, the King of Cups toasting you. Again, look at this, this sort of slightly embarrassed element of success. Unexpected rewards, gains, surprises, ambition satisfied. You're stepping into something that you would never have stepped into if it wasn't for, like you'd, you'd have moved towards it, but you would never have fully embraced it to your fullest capacity and ability. You, you'd have relied on other people or lent on other people or collaborated with the wrong people. So two messages coming through for you, my beautiful souls. Message number one. Absolutely, message number one, this is temporary. It's about to come to a completion. It really is. It's kind of, it's done, dusted over. This is a theme that's coming through in the readings that I'm doing at the moment. So I, I feel there's some really big shifts going on. But as you are moving from one space, one energy into the next, what you're really doing is stepping up. It's like literally stepping up, moving up the ladder, being the bigger, better version of you, embracing something wholeheartedly that is so loaded with possibility. Do it in a big way. Getting and using power. Really making a difference. And I'm so seeing you come out on top here.
It really is as if you would never have risen to your fullest potential without this. And it is a temporary situation. I think one of the challenges that you are currently facing is that I think you're sort of feeling like maybe it's never going to end. It's just going to drag on and on and on. Will it keep on rocking up in your life? Look, truly, it is coming to an end. I feel like these readings of reassurance around something is coming through such a lot. We're heading into eclipse season now. And whenever you are tuning in with this reading, it's a timeless reading, but whenever you tune into it, it will be right for you, which means that that energy is around. In eclipse season, things can both end and begin very quickly. What I'm seeing literally for you guys is the, the message here and now is this is this is coming to an end. And given that this is a here and now reading with information about the coming week, I honestly see you getting... Um, Literally, acclaim is the word I want to, to see. Not only are you cutting cords, but you're being validated. You're being celebrated. You're being toasted. It's like, well, hey, way to go. You're amazing. I do. I almost feel like you're leaving one world behind and moving to a next. And it's beautiful. Painting a new picture. Embracing it, moving away from something temporary. I think it's just that the temporary thing has been really intense. And because it was intense, I think, and, and I think it probably hooked you into some stuff and reminded you of some stuff, pressed quite a few buttons, that it left you feeling really wobbly about it. But it's like that little fawn on those Bambi legs. Pile one. It's ending. It really, really is. It's it's finishing. It's temporary. So this is just so coming through. This is a temporary situation. I, I just feel you're going to get some real acclaim this week. Let's just draw a couple more cards to ask very specifically for a bit more information about this week for my beautiful pile ones. Oh, look at this. Look at this gateway, the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, this is like winning the lottery for me, this card. I always think the Ten of Pentacles is, is the lottery win of the, of the tarot. God, something... I'm going to, I'm going to say even, even more than this. Whatever was temporary, it, it's even bigger than this. I think this is the week when something is celebrated in your life. And do you know what? You wouldn't have found it if that hadn't happened. You know, it's a bit like, I don't know, let's say you bought a car and it was, and it turned out to be the worst car in the world. And you kept going back to your garage again and again that you bought it from and they were absolutely hopeless and they wouldn't fix it and they wouldn't look at the warranty and all that kind of stuff. And then eventually you give up and you just think, do you know what? This is such hard work. I'm going to get it checked by another garage and you go to the other garage and, and you kind of, I don't know, you meet the love of your life unexpectedly or while you're sitting in the waiting room, you get talking to somebody and you've just finished a book and they turn out to be a publisher and that would never have happened if you hadn't had the rubbish garage. It, it's got completely this flavour to it. I'm placing this right here. We don't need any other cards. Something is coming this week. In the next seven days, this is what I'm seeing so clearly. <laughs> really seeing with my brown eyes I have brown eyes too right I am seeing really clearly that this temporary situation ultimately is leading you to something that is utterly magical it, it's it's like a lottery win in life and it would not have happened if the rubbish thing hadn't happened it created a temporary situation but you would never have got from here to here because that window of opportunity couldn't have opened unless that had gone wrong it's one of those twists of fate. And not only is this temporary, and that's what you're getting the reassurance about, but I think that the, I don't know, the, the lottery win, the winning thing is, is happening this week for you. I, I don't know what that is for you in the circumstances of your world, but way to go. Way to go, uh, pile one. Loving your reading. It's so utterly gorgeous. I just feel it's incredibly specific. So there we are. Uh, come back in the week and comment. And let us know as something emerges because I just feel something is coming. And when it arrives, you'll be like, wow, that wouldn't have happened if that hadn't happened. And none of this will matter anymore. Even though 
it has been mattering rather a lot. But assurances from spirit, it's bringing an opportunity, it's bringing a pathway. And you are being taken care of because ultimately you wouldn't have got this absolutely amazing thing without that going wrong. Well, gosh, what more can I say? I am going to sign off for the day. I think your reading is complete, my beautiful pile one. I'm sending you the biggest hug ever. Keep us posted. Beautiful souls, watch out for uh, my other readings. I've just posted here on YouTube as well. Um, I do uh, on my Patreon community, which is where I do my all zodiac sign readings. I uh, do a tutorial every month and I've just posted a tutorial for them but on Patreon, but I also put it onto YouTube for 48 hours. So do check that out if you want to, if you're passionate or interested in learning to read the cards. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to put all the relevant links to anything and everything that I do into the description box. Um, there's also a, a, an email address to sign up to if you want to be in my monthly prize draw. Uh, I give out a, a free private reading and a pack of my own oracle cards every month as well. There's there's a ton of stuff that I do. So check out all of the links and the different things there in case there's anything you want to sign up to or get involved in. Tons and tons and tons of love. Beautiful pile one. This is just heavenly. Hey pile two, welcome to your reading. I am slightly kind of blown away by the energy of your cards, the tower, and you have the flamingo, and Othilla, a rune of inheritance, of gain, also of separation. The tower means something is ending and something new is being built from it. Uh, this feels like a, a very big happening for you or a big message. Let's draw cards for you and see what is the most important message that Spirit wants you to know about right now. And also if we can get information really in more detail about what's happening for you this week. Pile one was unbelievably specific. It really, really was. I'm seeing this card here. Okay, now we will also, I think, draw an Archangel Michael card. And there is your card showing up. You have, how bizarre. You created this situation and you have the power to change it. This showed up in pile one. How fascinating. Okay, I'm going to use this card too. Decide to be happy now. Okay, we're going to draw some tea leaves as well. But first of all, do you know what I am? I'm just seeing this this one here, it's a, a month card. And one, two, three, what else do I see here? I actually think that's it for your tea leaves. I'm not feeling that we want more. Let's move your cards out of the way. Let's look at these oracle cards first of all. So we have Gibo, the rune of partnership. Okay. We have Burkana, which is the rune of growth. This is like a whole new phase, separation, fertility. Then we have immediately, wow, immediately in the first house, the way that you project yourself, doing something yourself, who you are, your desires, your actions. And then you have the signs, you have Gemini. What you want to be known, what is believed about, what, what is the quickest way information to explain, communications. How interesting. Can you see here, now my beautiful souls, we've got some really interesting energy showing up in the imagery of your cards. In the tower, we've got two people looking in different directions. In Gemini, we have two sets of people, two sets of twos looking in different directions. In the first house, we have two masks. What is this about? What is this message about that spirit wishes you to know right here and right now? So we have the card of May. Now May is a card that really for me indicates springtime. We have cherry blossom here. We then have funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned and candle, you will be shown the way. How interesting. 
you're going to be shown what to do or how to navigate something or something is going to be shown to you. I feel something is going to be shown to you really in a very immediate way or maybe something is being shown to you. Ah, yes, something is already being shown to you. Right now, there's something that's quite frustrating going on around you and it's actually being shown to you to sort of, to, I feel like it's being shown to you to teach you to do something differently, okay? One of those scenarios where, you know, there's a reality, isn't there? A, a truth and an honesty in the fact that we cannot always change our external circumstances. And, you know, we can think about all sorts of things like the law of attraction, but the reality is we have no conscious choice and free will over, for example, the actions of others. We do, however, dis have the absolute conscious free will and choice to decide what we are going to do. And I feel that's what your reading is really speaking about. The message here is about you recognizing that you can't change something that someone else is doing. I think it's largely a someone else or other people. But what you can do is decide what you're going to do. You can take matters into your own hands. You can make the decisions. You don't have to be bound by something. There's something around you that's feeling frustrating. And it may be the frustration of other people's actions in that, that are not in alignment with your own or they may even be in direct opposition to you or what you would like to do or what what in fact you are creating your reading is all about you working out how to navigate this solely in a way that means you're not bound by their actions. You're not in a reactive position. You're actually literally taking charge of this, choosing what you're going to do about it. It's like not being tangled or bound by something. Feels quite liberating actually, and definitely very empowering. Let's draw tarot cards and see, sort of feel we have these and this card coming through first. May we have more information for pile two, please. So we're seeing those as well. And this. So what do we have? Lots of cards for you. So we have the four of cups. How interesting. So can you see in this four of cups? This person is looking pretty down in the dumps really here. And yet somebody is holding a cup out to them. It, it's like it's, uh, it's behind you. Yes, yeah, something is actually behind you, but you're still, I, I feel like you're still slightly bound by it, actually. Yeah, it's behind you, the tower. Something is behind you and I think maybe it, you're still ruminating, feel, feeling flattened by it or despondent or disappointed or, you know, there's an energy here, but actually it's behind you and yet somehow it's lingering or your mind is going back to it or, I mean, I think it was heavy going. I, I think that's for real, but my goodness me, it's definitely behind you. I think that's your first message from spirit today the biggest message is look this is behind you now so we have the ten of cups and then we have the three of pentacles <coughs> excuse me isn't that interesting i just had that little dryness in my throat like i just like a little tickle or a a, a cough or an urge to cough or a what is this? I, I sort of feel like there's this energy of something that got stuck in your throat. Maybe you couldn't have a voice or, or there's been something that's been frustrating. What spirit is saying to you is, look, it's behind you now. It's now time to plan ahead with the three of pentacles. 
Yeah, with the nine of wands, it, it, it really is. Um, it's time actually to move through and beyond this, to see beyond it, to not be bound by it anymore. And we have the hermit. How interesting. Then we have the chariot. Yeah, you've learned from this. You are being shown the way, actually. How interesting. I think what you're probably seeing in your world at the moment are sort of, this is very interesting. I, I feel like there are, there are things showing up in your world that are uh, almost like the, the polar opposites. Like you're, you're experiencing things that remind you of the past simultaneously you're also seeing a significant number of things that are really the opposite it's kind of like i don't know let's let's say you have an experience and it's a negative one and it really reminds you of a the way somebody in your past used to behave and you think oh you know people are still behaving like this but simultaneously there are other people around you who are behaving beautifully and well and amazing and you just think god i'm so lucky to have these people around me it, it's like this polar opposites going on around you you're seeing both sides of every coin and it's fascinating because in a way it's very, very empowering. On the other hand, I think you're swinging a bit like a yo-yo. There's really good stuff coming into your world. Really, really good stuff. Lots and lots and lots of good things, good opportunities right in front of you. You're making plans. You're moving ahead. There's an element of springtime energy with you. And I think you know that you're being guided and you're being shown and you're learning. But simultaneously, my goodness me, there's stuff in your world that you're also sort of seeing. And it's like, oh, you know, this reminds me of the past or there is stuff of the past that you don't want to continue with. We have the chariot. We have the ace of swords. We have the King of Swords, absolutely, here. Then we also have the King of Wands and the Page of Cups. I'm going to place these over here. I think everything in your reading, my beautiful pile two, is actually saying to you, look, don't lose your balance here. I, I sort of feel like you're in a, a transitional period, okay, whereby there's still some stuff lingering from the past and you quite like to move away from it, but you're still having to process it a bit. Simultaneously, there's loads of amazing new opportunities and lots of really, really good stuff coming into your world. And, and I think you know it, you can see it and you're planning and you're looking ahead. But there is still stuff going on that is pressing your buttons and hooking you in a little bit. I feel like you're in this sort of tower position whereby you're, you're still having to deal with both the past and the future sort of simultaneously or scenarios that both press your buttons and remind you of the past or even people and situations from the past that you want to let go of but there's still some connections to them and for some reason you're not quite able to let go of them and maybe the timing is just not right to do so as yet but you're also in a position of completely new growth and new opportunity it, it, it I do I feel like you're getting these polar opposite experiences you literally could be swinging like a yo-yo having a, a day when you just get up and you think I'm so grateful to be alive everything is so amazing and then then, you know, you could get up the following day or literally something could happen and you could get a communication or a message and you and it throws you back to the other end of the scale where you just think, oh, will life ever get easier? And, and yet I, I do feel there is this sort of swinging between these different scenarios. What is happening, though, from a spiritual perspective is that you are being given an opportunity and this is very deep 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 spiritual soul growth here 
So my hat goes off to you because my beautiful pile too, this kind of reading and this level of reading is telling me that you are, you are seriously doing that soul growth work and my hat goes off to you. It really, really does. You are learning that you're being guided and you sort of know it, even if you have moments when you really, really, really feel that you are not on solid ground. But be like a flamingo. They can stand on one leg for hours. They can um, be really, really stable. And even though there's frustrations going on, part of what you're learning is this incredible sense of empowerment that comes when you can remain stable regardless of what is going on around you. That's part of the big learning here. And it, it really is literally learning how not to be knocked off balance and recognizing that it isn't what happens, it's what you do with what happens. That's what counts. And this is the, this incredible message coming through that is validating this and saying, look, at this point in time, this is the level of soul growth that you are undertaking. But this is leading to amazing things because you are becoming the master of your own mind. You are learning to not be thrown, not be knocked off balance. And what I'm seeing is that you're getting increasingly good at it. Okay. And, and this is where seriously, I, I feel like I want to take my hat off to you. But also I feel like your spirit team are also kind of really bigging you up and praising you and saying, look, you're amazing. Do you not realize, you know, how much you have been through and how much you've grown? And you are now at this incredible turning point whereby you literally are becoming the master of your own destiny because you're learning to master your own mind. You're learning not to become emotionally reactive to things. You're learning to recognize that you can say yay or nay to things. And, 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 and this is not easy stuff to master. It's, it's the bits that most of us as, you know, kind of just, you know, normal human beings, whatever normal is. In fact, if you ever work out what normal is, let me know and we'll write a book and make a million. But, you know, whatever normal is, you're learning to navigate life from a genuine position of awareness. I, I feel like with the Ten of Cups here, they're sitting on this rug and this rug looks like a, like, like a board game with the checkers on it. You're learning, to, you're learning that people play games and you don't have to buy into them. It's like you're learning to play the game, but not in a game playing way, if that makes sense. You're learning how this works. Self-mastery. And, and you're not being drawn into the games that people play anymore. Something is actually behind you. And this is the biggie. You're learning how to navigate without being emotionally hooked and without your mind racing into territory that you don't want to go to. I remember listening to a Christiane Northrup talk. She's absolutely brilliant and really worth listening to. I'm sure you can probably find her on YouTube. I will repeat her name, Christiane Northrup. She's an American uh, doctor. And she quoted from a book, but I'm afraid I don't know what the book was. But in the book, the author of the book said, my mind is a bad neighborhood. I shouldn't go there alone. And I, I just loved that. I, just, I really got that. And I've often quoted it to my clients in my counseling work. Truly, honestly, it's like, you know, you, you can just, we can just be so easily triggered, can't we? And this is the bit that you are mastering. It's like you're looking in the mirror and you can recognize the, the humanness in people's reactions. And even if they're not choosing wisely, you are. You're learning that you can choose not to be tangled in somebody else's stuff. You really, really are mastering how you respond to things. And also alongside that, you're also 
mastering the fact that it's like you're the more you become able to navigate from a position of your own empowerment and not be affected by other people and game playing and and you have your mind wandering into bad neighborhoods you're also becoming acutely aware of the signs that are being shown to you. You're becoming more spiritually guided. We're always spiritually guided, but I think you're really recognizing what you're able to see the signs and the signals and the synchronicities. Pile two, this is a level of soul growth that is phenomenal. Now, I think your primary message is literally an affirmation of this and also a monumental amount of, of big, big, big um, encouragement. Your spirit team are bigging you up and saying, you are amazing. You are, you can do this. You can crack this. I'm not saying you won't sometimes slip back a bit or get hooked into things because it's really hard not to, but you're really, really, really getting through this you're really sorting it out you're really working out how to stay on track how to keep your balance knowing when it's your mind that's playing tricks on you you're really getting there let's draw some more cards just to see if if there are any other messages coming through particularly around this week is there anything and there is a card already the chariot again, something is going to move forwards. We've got the chariot twice. Something is going to move forwards quite quickly. Or maybe you, I, I think there'll be a choice that you make. We're talking about making choices here, right? Choosing how you respond to something. You don't have to react. You have a choice. I think there will be a choice this week for you. I think there'll be a decision to make. I'm seeing the card on the base here as well. We have the King of Coins. Okay. Yeah, there'll be some kind of communication coming in that will actually happen. It's like it reinforces this. There'll be a communication coming in and, and you will be able to think about how you want to respond and you'll have a choice. And the way that you respond is about you empowering you. Uh, you don't, I actually feel like there's a choice to be made and you need, you're being advised or it's being suggested or invited that you do, you make the choice that's right for you, for your well-being. Okay, I feel the card on the base is here as well. We have the Hierophant. Choices and decisions. Choices and decisions. It could be to do with some kind of a, a relationship, a connection with someone, because we have Gibo, the rune of partnership. This connects to people. And with the Hierophant, I'm seeing these two people kneeling here. And then we have the two horses. We're coming back to the two different sides of something. We've got two faces, two lots of two faces. We've got two masks here, two people looking in different directions. I think something will happen this week. Uh, we're being given the heads up. Not only are we seeing the bigger picture for you, but we're being given the heads up that at some point during this week, I think there'll be a choice to make. And it's exactly this scenario that we're talking about, whereby you can choose how you respond. I think it connects to somebody. May we have more specific information for pile two, please. Queen of Wands. Mm. This is genuine empowerment. You've got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands showing up here. Look at all the energy of this incredible energy here. We've got so many kings here. You know, you have the King of Coins up here. You have the King of Swords here. We've got the Chariot showing up twice. You've got the King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Mm. Yeah, I, I feel like I've got to draw more cards. There's something going on here that's coming through this week for you. Right, here we have it. I'm seeing you walking away from something. Interestingly enough, you're walking to something. You're not walking away, you're walking to something. There's a choice coming through for you this week. Yes, the fool. There's an opportunity for a new beginning in something. 
this week. Something will, I won't say it comes to a head as such, but the tower card, it's, it's changing, it's shifting, it's over, something's over, it's behind you. Yes, it's behind you. Something that has been frustrating I think this week a decision will be made by you and you will make the decision that is completely right for you with the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands and the Page of Cups, you're going to be celebrating it. I think you're going to make a very clear cut decision this week, Ace of Swords, King of Swords, something will come along and you will be like, do you know what, I'm not playing that game anymore not doing that anymore. I'm not going to be knocked off balance. I'm not going to be drawn in. Really sorry. Just not, just not even, in. It's, it's almost like not entertaining it. Do you know, it reminds me of, um, I'm trying to think, there was a moment, I think it was in a Bridget Jones film, probably the very first one. And I think there's a point, I want to say, Mr. well, it was Mr. Darcy, wasn't it? I'm going to dive into Pride and Prejudice and all sorts. But anyway, so we've got, we've got Darcy. And I think she had a big wobble. And I think he said something like, I'm not even going to entertain that question or something along those lines. And, and I feel like that's how you're going to be. You're like, do you know what? I'm not even entertaining this. It's like, seriously, I'm not buying into that. I'm not doing that. That's what this flavor is here today. So my pile two Big, big thumbs up to you. Not only are you working at the most incredible depth of soul growth and evolution and navigating stuff that quite frankly is probably goes back into generational patterns where people didn't make healthy or wise choices or feel that they could. But you're processing all of that. You're learning these lessons. You're listening to spirit, to source. You're being guided. You're on this incredible pathway with this turning point of empowerment and something rocks up this week, I think, and you just look at it and you go, really? I'm not buying into that. Absolutely no way, not playing that game. And you sort of, it's like water off a duck's back with this swan. And you literally just flap your wings and, and rise and you're like, you know, not not doing that anymore uh, and honestly whatever it is i think you are literally unaffected by it it's like you're you're sitting in the light of springtime irrespective of the time of the year and you're like do you know what this is just not this i'm not entertaining this and what is really fascinating is i think it's exactly the kind of thing that had it happened gosh even six months ago it would have eaten away at you but not anymore. You're like, do you know what? I'm not responding to that. And that is what I'm seeing in your reading, my beautiful pile too. I find it interesting that I'm a little choked up. My, my throat feels quite dry and quite sore suddenly. And I am wondering if this is all connected to, to being able to have a voice, literally being able to say, do you know what? I'm not doing that because in a way I f I'm finding myself in the energy of having a voice. You don't have to justify it. You don't have to, you, you, you just literally, you're just like, do you know what? No, off you go. New beginnings, different ways of doing it not even entertaining it and that is the energy very strong energy coming through for you my beautiful pile too and my hat goes off to you seriously i mean i really do feel this is phenomenal really in terms of of your personal growth and evolution and of course the role model that you ultimately set to all of the people you come into contact with because of your ability to handle something without buying into it. I mean, I just think it's amazing, actually. So a communication, something coming in, and you take charge of your decisions and your choices and your actions. And what a turning point. Just absolutely amazing. Pile two, I am giving you the thumbs up. Your spirit team are giving you the thumbs up. 
have an incredibly empowered week, my beautiful souls. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of the Moon Magic Tarot community. Um, you guys are absolutely amazing. You really are awesome. Welcome to anyone new. If this is resonating with you, do subscribe. Thank you all for liking, sharing, subscribing. I will put a ton of links into the information box below, into the description box and into a pinned comment, connecting you with all of the different things that I do. I've posted a tutorial, um, I post a monthly tutorial learning how to read the cards and the runes in, um, it's quite interesting because it may be very relevant to this reading actually. So I post a tutorial every month on Patreon, which is also where I do my all zodiac sign readings. Now I always put it on YouTube for um, just literally for 48 hours, just so that people on YouTube can get to share it too. But it's it's there on Patreon all of the time. You can scroll through the posts and look at all the past tutorials. But it may be relevant to you guys, particularly because the focus of this month's tutorial, um, depending of course when you are checking in, because these are timeless readings, even though I post them every Sunday, but at the time of posting this, I've just posted this tutorial. And it's all about actually a really clear format and structure to do a reading for yourself with a yes, no answer, with a really clear way of working with it with your own cards. And, and also there are three pick a card yes, no readings in there too. So it may be of interest to you. Do check it out, pile two, because I feel like you're going to be making some decisions in this sort of way. Um, firmly saying yes to what's right for you and firmly saying no to what isn't. Beautiful souls, if that is of interest to you, do check it out and it is on YouTube for 48 hours. But if you're coming to this reading later than when I have just posted it, um, all of my tutorials are on Patreon along with my, um, my All Zodiac Sign readings and you can access all of those. It works on the basis of donations, so you can give as little or as much as you want and you can also opt in and opt out as it suits you. Beautiful souls, I'm sending you all the love in the world, tons and tons of love to you. Hey, Pile 3, welcome to your reading. So what is your message from Spirit? What does Spirit wish you to know about? And indeed, what might be happening this week? You have the card of the lovers and this beautiful elephant. Elephants never forget. Hmm, how interesting. We have Hagalas, the rune of disruption, the great awakener. Look how in love these guys are. Kath, do you refine something, rekindle something? Does someone from the past with the elephant of memory come in? Come, do you come back together? Wow, what's going on with you? There's a lovely energy to your reading, my beautiful pile three. Let's draw more cards. Let's not jump to conclusions. Let's get some additional runes. You have the rune of joy, Wunjo. That's beautiful. Then you have, hmm, not sure about that. You have the rune of partnership, Gibo. Oh, this is just all about love and joy and deliciousness. Gosh, it feels very life-changing with Hagalas. Do you come back together with someone that you've known before? I'm seeing this card and actually that one. Okay. Let's draw an Archangel Michael card. This is the one coming through for you already. Is there any more cards from Archangel Michael for you? And let's draw some tea leaves as well. I'm seeing these two and that one and that one okay i'm thinking these two as well so i'll just put them to one side move these out of our way i'm going to put those over to one side for a moment and let's have a look and see what we have so we have broom new home new attitude shark take care or there will be a loss of material wealth Bird perched, waiting for news package, letter, happiness and well-being. Then you have shield yourself and romance angels are helping you. 
Well, there's a lot of love and romance in the air around you. That is absolutely for sure. My beautiful uh, pile three. So this is exciting. Look at this again. The fifth house, fun and romance. Do it dramatically. Investment as well, gambles, how interesting. And then you have good fortune, Jupiter. Well, I want your week. <laughs> my beautiful pile three may i please step into your life and your shoes because this is just heavenly i'm seeing love i'm seeing joy i'm seeing partnership i'm seeing disruption as well how interesting we've got good fortune the power of love i honestly think the world of love is shining upon you now new home new attitude now, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Do you know what I am really getting with this card? Is just that I think you could be so swept along, um, knocked off your feet, uh, blown, a blown away by someone that you might find it quite hard to focus on work. This feels like a time when you would almost go, you know, work, what's that? Why would I want to be working when I can be having joy and fun? I think this is sort of saying, look, don't be so swept along by this that you lose sight of just the everyday stuff, but at the same time, love every second of it. Let's look at these. Bridge, successfully overcoming a problem, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. This is interesting. Okay, I think we've almost got two messages coming through for you. Let me place this over here because this is to do with work. Yeah, there's, there's, there's something going on in, in your world that is connected to work. Now, whether you actually meet somebody through your work and it's love at first sight or there's a conflict of interest because actually you're working out how to navigate really liking somebody and working with them or whatever but th there's something going on there's there's two messages coming in one is connected to well your predominant message your first message is really truly this is all about love it's about happiness waiting for news package letter but you also successfully overcome something. You bridge a gap, shrewdness and resourcefulness. You're having to navigate something simultaneously to do with money. Shield yourself to do with money, work. You've got to cross a bridge. Maybe you have to cross a bridge to be able to be together. I said there's something about coming back. Ah, the elephant. Now elephants actually, are quite amazing they will when when they are needing to lead lead the herd they will literally put an obstacle down they'll maybe knock a tree over because it will stop the herd from going in the direction of danger and it will steer them and the whole herd will steer into a different direction and take a different route and and of course that's because they need to take a different route I think there'll be a disruption or something that comes into your world this week that will actually need to be navigated thoughtfully and carefully. You'll overcome it, that's for sure. I wonder if it is exactly this problem that will cause you to encounter love or cause you to be steered in that direction. I, I feel like I need an awful lot more information really here. Let's place these here. And let's draw some tarot cards. May we have information please for my beautiful pile threes. I'm so excited for you. It's like your week just looks like it's going to be amazing. On the other hand, I hope there's something you're going to have to navigate simultaneously. I can't quite work out whether there are two separate things going on or one separate thing is, or well, one thing is in fact then the bridge that leads you to the other. Perhaps it could be either or for some of you. Okay. We have the Six of Cups. Okay. 
how interesting she's sitting on her own then we have the page of pentacles and the three of wands okay let's move these down i think we can do that and put our cards along how are we going to do all these cards for you let's move them around a bit okay so we have the Justice card. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant. And then the Three of Cups. Okay. Where is that sitting? Hmm. Okay. I feel this card is wanting to come out too. Two of Swords and this card as well. Two of Swords and Temperance. Okay, let us look at your reading. Okay, so the first thing that's coming through for me is that saying, love is blind. Okay, love is blind. Now, Everything in your reading is pointing to something that is pretty amazing. We've got the sun, happiness and well-being, bird perched, new home, new attitude. Okay, we're seeing the six of cups. It's like she's sitting here waiting almost for somebody to arrive. We've got the king and the hierophant. Three of Cups celebrating. Okay, right. So, my beautiful souls, love is in the air. That is for sure. Your reading is becoming clear to me. If you are single and looking for love, love is in the air. And I actually do think that there will be somebody around you. You may already know who they are already. But I don't think it runs immediately smoothly this week. Basically, that, that either something gets in the way or you're having to navigate something or navigate some choices. Basically, something gets in the way. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. I don't really necessarily see there being a, a, a huge material issue as such here, just that you're having to navigate. I think something is, is showing up that you have to navigate with resourcefulness. There's a, basically, there's a bridge to cross before you can get to this point of celebration. Yeah, some, something is having to be weighed up or you need to see something here. Now, I do think that whoever this is, so if, if this is an existing relationship, it, this could be somebody who's coming back into your life that you already know. It could be a brand new relationship and it, it could even be someone you've met in a, a previous life, perhaps. Or if it's an existing relationship, it's like you're about to move into a new chapter. But something has to be navigated first. Look at the page of pentacles. This, he, his focus is on the coin. And here she is sitting at a table with two cups, absolutely waiting, full of joy, full of abundance, all ready to share, generosity, sharing, gifting. And yet this, this person is, ab is absorbed, needing to, to give full attention to this coin here. The Three of Wands, I'm seeing these signposts and the Justice card. Something is having to be weighed up here. What is this about? I'm going to draw more cards for you. I'm seeing it working out, my beautiful pile three. I'm seeing it working out. I just wonder, is there, is there some kind of contractual connection between you that has to be sorted first we've got lots of pentacles and the justice card showing up king of pentacles page of pentacles 
shrewdness and resourcefulness. Yeah, I feel there's something that's having to be weighed up, balanced. There could be a conflict of interests. It could be that this is somebody who is helping you legally. If you're involved in some form of legal process, you're involved in this legal process. Perhaps you kind of fancy the pants off each other, but you're involved in a legal process. It would compromise your situation if you actually took an ownership of how you really feel. And so somehow something has to be, a, a transaction has to be negotiated first. A bridge has to be crossed. You need to take care because actually there could be a loss of something. If, if you were involved, let's, let's say you've fallen in love with your lawyer or your lawyeress or whoever they are. And you really, really like each other. But right now they need to represent you. If this came out, came to light, then, then that could compromise your position. There's something that has to get sorted first. There's a bridge to be crossed or something to be with shrewdness and resourcefulness. It needs to be navigated. The feelings are real. The connection is real. And you're going to get to this point of celebration. Now, this is a reading that says, what's the message from spirit right now? And then we also look at the week ahead. I mean, maybe you are just having to wait for, for the results of something. Perhaps that's part of the problem. We're seeing these signposts here. You're needing to wait for something to come to light, for some, some, something to be signed off or completed in some way. So then you're free to move forwards. I mean, look at these two keys here at the base of the feet of the Hierophant. I, I actually think that this love, this or new phase of relationship, perhaps you're going through mediation and you've got to cross that bridge if it's an existing relationship or recommit to each other. But there's a bridge to be crossed to get to this point. I think it will happen this week because this is a weekly reading, but I will draw more cards around this and ask. But there's good luck here. This is definitely going to win through. If it's somebody that's new and you just, the chemistry, the attraction is there and you're dying to move it forwards, but there's some other stuff that has to just be navigated thoughtfully. That's all, all that we're seeing here. We are seeing success. We are seeing success. We really, really are. Something is having to be processed. I feel like I'm repeating myself. I apologize, pile three, but I'm quite excited in the energy of your reading. Like an obstacle gets overcome. Hagalas, disruption. Something needs to change, to shift, to come to light. May we please have more information about this scenario, particularly this week. I mean, we are asking about this week. Okay, so there is something that has to be processed. I'm, I'm seeing this, you know, there's a pathway to follow here. Literally a pathway to follow, a process to go through somehow. Yes, we have the devil. So some, something needs to be, cords need to be cut. We then have the Six of Pentacles. And look at this balance again. We've got the scales coming up here. We have the scales of justice. And we have the Knight of Swords. Okay. Hmm. Yes, there's definitely something in the way of this. Look at these, like, people wanting something. Finding this very, very interesting. Okay. We have the card of the tower. The king of coins. How lovely, you've got the King of Pentacles again. 
Okay, and then we've got the hanged man. Okay. Hmm. Right. Pile three, your reading is now very clear for me. I don't have a definite, this is going to be sorted by the end of this week. Your message is really, really clear. The connection that you are experiencing is absolutely for real. And it is definitely going to come to fruition. But something has to be processed. It, it's got to run its course first. I think it's possibly the way that you've met. Perhaps you met with this card of shield yourself under difficult circumstances. I do have this feeling of somebody looking out for your, for your best interests. The king of coins showing up twice. So this literally could be a, a lawyer or someone stepping in to help you out from a professional position because there's a lot of pentacles around or even a doctor who's stepping in to, you know in a form of treatment or but so, there's something going on and you've met in a circumstance that has been quite difficult. Now the time that that will take to sort itself out is going to be absolutely unique to your personal circumstances. But basically, you've met in a situation where there has been either a, a conflict of interest or this person is looking after you or there's, there's some finances engaged because it could be a, a professional relationship. You've come together under a particular set of circumstances. Yes, this is real. And yes, you will. Your message is so clear. It's telling you that, yes, your love is for real and the chemistry is right and you're completely right to believe in this. You are absolutely going to get to the point where you truly can celebrate and it will be wonderful and it will be fabulous. It will bring you happiness and well-being. It will be life-changing. You could even move home and move in together or however this is, but you've got to wait for something to get sorted and some news will come. It could be yeah, it, it could be something, what, whatever the cause of how you met, the, the reason or the, the circumstance around it, it has to run its course. And when it's complete, that's when things will then move forwards. But you have to wait until that process has taken place. You may well, some of you, acknowledge your feelings towards each other. But I think you will also both know that you need to let this be processed before you can move full scale ahead and be wide out in the open. It's going to be different for you each, depending on what you're navigating. I mean, for example, if you're getting divorced and you've fallen in love with your solicitor or, or something is going on and you have to get the divorce done first, really, or there's something that has to be processed. I think it is ironic that I think it's possibly the very thing that has kindled this attraction or even created it or the circumstances in which you've either come back together or you have met in the first place. That has to be processed. But when it's processed, whatever the timing of that, and it will be unique to you each, this will then be beautiful. So your message is an affirmation of the realness of this connection and then an affirmation as well that this has to run its course. So just let it do exactly that. Something has to reach a place of completion where it's ended, literally something is completed and ended and then you are free to move forwards in a real and beautiful way. Pile three, this is your reading. Thank you so, so much for joining me. It has been an absolute privilege to read for you. I'm loving your energy. Let this run its course. Beautiful souls, I've just recently posted my um, latest tutorial on Patreon, which is where I also do my all zodiac sign readings. You're welcome to check that out. I do put it on YouTube for 48 hours only. If you're watching this reading as I've posted it, you should still be able to watch it on YouTube. It's really teaching you how to make a really um, bespoke tailor-made spread to acquire a yes or a no answer in your own tarot readings. But if you're coming to this reading later, because they are timeless readings, then you can always access all the tutorials on Patreon along with my All Zodiac Sign readings. 
Beautiful souls, I am sending you all the love in the world. Keep us pasted here. We will be dying to know how this progresses. Tons and tons of love, Pearl 3, and I look forward to seeing you for some other readings really, really soon.